So there are two main types of warranties you'll come across when shopping for solar panels, the manufacturer's warranty and the performance warranty. There's actually a third type, but we're gonna cover these top two warranties first. So obviously the most common warranty type is your typical product warranty. The product warranty covers any defects in the manufacturing process or materials used like it would with any other purchase, like a washer and dryer or a refrigerator, for example. This means that if your panels fail or break due to a manufacturing fault, the manufacturer is responsible for fixing or replacing them. So when it comes to solar purchases though, you have to keep three main things in mind. The first one is how long is the warranty period? The second is what's included with replacement. And the third is what are the warranty exclusions? As far as how long the coverage is, product warranties typically range between 10 to 25 years, depending on the manufacturer. Now that's a big range, so it's important to understand this before you make a purchase. Also, different components might have different warranty periods, like the panels versus the battery, for example. So be sure to get clear on what exactly is covered and for how long. The second piece to this is understanding if the warranty covers materials only, meaning if a panel fails, does the warranty simply pay for a new panel, or does it also include the labor? Uninstalling a defective panel and installing a replacement on your roof isn't necessarily cheap, so make sure to ask about this and get clarity here. Third, find out what exclusions there are to the warranty coverage. Things like damage from a tornado make sense, but you'd be surprised to find what some manufacturers consider to be a valid warranty exclusion, and we'll talk more about that in a minute. The other major warranty to consider is the performance warranty. The performance warranty guarantees that your solar panels will produce a certain amount of electricity over a specific period of time. If the energy output falls below that guaranteed level, the manufacturer is required to compensate you. So here's how that works. When you buy solar panels, the manufacturer will provide a chart or a graph, often called a power degradation schedule. This shows how much power the panels are expected to produce each year. Now, over time, the efficiency of solar panels go down, which is totally normal and expected, but the performance warranty guarantees that this decrease or degradation won't exceed a certain amount. For example, a manufacturer might guarantee that after 25 years, the panels will still produce at least 80% of their original output. If your panels fall short of that, the manufacturer is obligated to repair, replace, or compensate you for the lost energy. The duration of performance warranties is usually longer than product warranties, often ranging from 25 to 30 years. But similar to the product warranties, it's essential to read the fine print. Some warranties might have conditions based on your location or even how the panels are installed. Others might require regular maintenance or inspections to remain valid. Something else to think about is whether or not the company will be around in 10, 20, or even 30 years. There have been a lot of new manufacturers and installers pop up in the last few years, and quite a few solar businesses have gone out of business in that same amount of time as well. One thing I've learned with these newer companies is that they tend to handle the objection of how long they've been in business by simply stating that if there's a problem in the future, that's covered under the manufacturer's warranty. Now, while that sounds good, there is a catch. With solar installations, it's more than just the panels, it's also the inverters, it's the rack mounts, and other parts that may have problems. To add to the confusion, each one of these components may be from a different manufacturer, which would ultimately leave you on the hook to sort through the mess of figuring out who to call if you happen to have a problem and your installer is no longer in business. Also, remember that labor piece I mentioned earlier? You have to make sure the manufacturer's warranty covers the labor for diagnosis of any problems, shipping the defective parts back to the manufacturer, and the uninstallation and installation required for the replacement. If those things aren't covered, those would all be expenses you'll have to pay for yourself if something, again, happened to go wrong. When choosing a solar solution, consider using a solar brand that's been around longer than their warranty. That can add another layer of confidence that the company provides a quality solution that will be likely to last. If you choose to go with a newer company, you'll also need to weigh the pros and cons of potentially saving a few dollars now versus having some additional peace of mind later on. Now that we've covered the basics of product and performance warranties, let's dive into some less commonly known concerns that could potentially cause headaches for you down the line. Exclusion clauses. So exclusion clauses are specific situations or types of damage that the warranty does not cover, and I like to think of these as loopholes in the warranty. For example, a warranty might exclude coverage for damage caused by natural disasters or vandalism, which again totally makes sense. But some warranties have blanket statements saying they won't cover damage from more common things like wind or vibration. Now I don't know about you, but it can get pretty windy where I live, so this is one clause I'm always a little hesitant about when I see it. Now don't get me wrong, solar panels in general are designed to withstand the elements, but again, be sure to really dig into this clause to understand what they consider to be an exception so you don't get caught off guard. Likewise, another concern that's not often talked about is saltwater exposure. 
So this is a big deal if you live near the coast. Salt water can be corrosive and not all solar warranties cover damage due to any type of salt water exposure. So if you're in a coastal area, especially if you live anywhere in Florida, make sure your warranty specifically covers this type of damage. Another big one is roof penetration. So when solar panels are installed, it typically involves drilling holes into your roof. Now a good installer will seal these holes properly, but what if there happens to be a leak later on? This is where another type of warranty is needed and that's called a workmanship warranty. Workmanship warranties cover any damages or issues that may occur from the installation process, including potential leaks. So always check if your installer offers a workmanship warranty and how long that warranty lasts. Now, if you're like me, I'm always looking for recommendations and reviews on the best products and solutions. So I'd like to take a second here to highlight one solar brand that I feel really stands out when it comes to warranties. And that company is SunPower. So SunPower offers a comprehensive warranty that covers not only the product and performance aspects, but also includes the service. This means if something goes wrong, SunPower not only covers the cost of the parts, but also the cost of labor and shipping. They offer one of the longest warranty durations in the industry with a 25 year warranty for both product and performance. They're also the only US based solar company that's been around longer than their warranty period. But what really makes them stand out to me are some of their other warranty details. So remember when we talked about the roof penetration issue, SunPower's warranty covers any roof leaks that are a result of their installations. This is a level of coverage that not all manufacturers provide, obviously, but SunPower does. And if you happen to live by the coast, SunPower's warranty does in fact cover damage, even if your panels are exposed to salt water, which is a big advantage if your home happens to be near the sea. And yes, SunPower also covers wind and vibration damage under their warranty, which is another testament to their comprehensive coverage. In a nutshell, SunPower offers a robust and customer-friendly warranty that really goes the extra mile in protecting your solar investment. It's because of SunPower's commitment to quality and performance that I see in many different areas that I've teamed up with them to help you get a free no obligation quote. So if you haven't gotten a quote from SunPower yet, I'll leave a link in the video description below where you can head over to their website and request a free solar savings estimate today. Well, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to check out this other video next. Otherwise, I wanna say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.